really care. Okay, it started, <laughs> so you can formally introduce it or whatever. Well, hello everybody. This is the IWP. This is the second Q and A session, I guess. And we got a round table of me, Homer, um, HOC, or Emily O'Shea, and Ty. Hello. Hi. Hi. Ty's pretty you. gay. <laughs> okay, and we got a bunch of questions from the ten IWT fans out there. Eight of them are auto, and so we start out with our first question from Sprite. Explosion. Um. Yeah. Yes, um, that happened. <laughs> the, the, answer, uh, the answer to that is lol uh, new Impact Wrestling. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I don't look at explosions. Ty. You guys don't look at explosions. The explosion, all I can say about explosion is... That's all I can say. Explosion. Hell, our second cool, per- cool guys don't look at explosions. They turn their heads and then walk away. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> our second question is... From OCX21, did Wally hear that sound? Yes, he actually did hear that sound a lot. Yes, and I didn't hear it, only Wally heard it. Yes, I heard it a lot. It's a sound what? only Wally can hear. What yes. sound is this that we're referring to? This sound, of course, is the really shitty sound of when you when you hear someone getting pipped on an MFC chat room. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes. That's right. Um, this happened during the last Q and A session when I found out Josh was actually watching like um, the My Free Cams website, and I heard the ring. <laughs> and I was like, "I know that sound." <laughs> Smirk. He was. Probably... Wait, was he looking at Wit? I don't know, uh... but apparently, I found out she has a website now. <laughs> okay, let's not talk about her. That's <laughs> okay. And on to our next question from Homer. Hi. Hi. Can I ask it? Yes, sure. No, that, right, that, that's a different home. Here's my all important question. How great is Danny Jackpot Wrestling's Vern Gagne? He is very, very great. And I think he's Grenine. Yes. He actually, he I think he's very superb. <laughs> he actually made his debut recently. There's a video of him taking on uh, the leader of the Squinty Eyed Squadron, Yoshitatsu. So anybody who gives a shit can go check out check out my channel to see that. Yeah, and I just want to say, uh, we need more Danny Jackpot wrestling episodes to tape in Saginaw, Michigan. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I agree. And on to our next question from Mason Chronic. He asks, Mason Chronic, dot, dot, dot. Fuck that faggot, he's to trying that, to steal the Danny Jackpot question. To that, I say, that to that I say, here comes the pain. Bam. I don't know who Mason okay. Chronic is. is my response, it, my response is Danny Jackpot. Why? <laughs> there, the leader of the movement. No, actually, he's not the leader of the movement. <laughs> I always, I, I, I always find leader. it hard. I, I, I was gonna say in IWT, it's very hard to pitch. I'm trying to pitch him as the leader of the group, but yet I have to put suspect as the leader of the group. So I'm like, he's the sub commander of the group. I don't know. Mason Chronic is the leader of the bowel movement. Yes. <laughs> okay, our next question comes in from Otto. Three? Question mark. The correct answer uh, is four. All I can, okay, hold on. All I can say about that, Otto, if you're fucking watching this, get on Skype because we all miss you. That's all I got to say. Yes, and I was also, planning to go to Skype also. Also, I'm a, also, I'm a walking fucking paradox. No, I'm not. Three swims with a fucking triceratops. Otto will get it if he does watch this video. My response is Trace. Okay. And on to our next question from the immortal Steven. Oh, shit. We should skip this does question. Does his mom know he's gay? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, where do you see IWT in three years? Oh, of Bye. course. A gay question from someone like Steven. Oh, I, by the way, Steven, I hope you enjoyed me and... Some of my friends on your channel calling you gay, and then, you know, I'm I'm gonna ride you, and you admitted to Mr. Big Fan that you were, that you were a homophobic. You know, that's kind of bad. I mean, god damn, you're a horrible, horrible person. And you know what? Someday I will ride you, and you will like it. Okay, is that the turning on into a bash on Steven? I'm no, actually gonna yeah, answer the question. I'm, yeah, gonna so, him, I'm gonna give him a, a virtual hug. 
but only in the hopes that he tries to uh, grope me. No, he doesn't want any like, hugs. I, I, if he can take the if he can take the joke, then it's fine. But at this point, like until he until he admits, like okay, I'm happy with like I'm gonna laugh it off. Like it's just not working right now. So Homer, he doesn't want any hugs because he's a homophobic. No, the oh, and by by the way, IWG will be dead in three years. Pretty much. Actually, it's barely gonna last at the till the end of this year, as it is. Yeah, like, probably. Oh, honestly. I, it, I'll be surprised if, if if the majority of CAW is around in three years. Yeah, I'm sure so, it won't last. Well, as a, you're still always going to have kids with camcorders. Right, shit, but I'm so. talking about the... Not gonna like, we die, but... I'm, I'm talking dude, about the, the, the productive feds that, that people actually watch. I know, dude, I, know dude, I, know, I know WEDF for a fact, like on the last, when we had the Smokey interview, he was saying that we might reach season six maybe of WEDF? I don't know. He was really? thinking about I've only heard up to season four, but that's just because of the conversations I've had with him. Dude, yeah. camcorder feds are like backyard feds. I'm sure, I'm sure I, stuff will still be around, but I'm sure um like yeah, the uh fed production will go down. My car will be around I, I'll, I'll be and, I'll be and, doing something more I just want to remind everybody that Danny Jackpot Wrestling will exist as long as there are people willing to record matches for me. <laughs> well, I don't see I don't see my league going on in three years, <laughs> but if it does, that's that's cool, I guess. Oh, uh, URW will go on for three years because it'll take me four years to get to uh, my WrestleMania pay per view. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. That's like IWT. We're never gonna reach. We're never gonna reach the Spectamania one <laughs> at this rate. <laughs> It's like yes, we are only like how many shows left till till fan control? Three. <laughs> That's gonna take another year and a half <laughs> at my rate. <laughs> and uh, Yoshigaka at hotmail dot com is totally not my email at all. Totally. Okay. Okay. Um, and on to our next question from third third generation sprite. Also, bigger explosion. <laughs> no. No. Uh, to that, I, to that I say. People over there, what's up? Boom. Oh my god, McGruber killed our troops. Here's, here's something, okay? If you want a bigger explosion, all you're going to do is go to your record store and buy DJW Love Songs of the 70s. All I have to say to that is Air Boom! <laughs> <laughs> to that I say, it's all about the power. Yay! It's all <laughs> about the power. <laughs> okay, and the next question is from e to c Can I be a Who part did? of this one? No! I didn't no. have that question. That yeah. Some faggot named this username kicks ass asked that question. No, no, he no, you can't be part of this one. I don't know who that faggot is, but he better not ask questions like that again. No, you can't I know. be part of it. Also, also, Evan O'Shea is getting getting going to get squashed because we had a poll up, and yeah, everyone admitted he should get squashed. I didn't vote I, for I, him. I voted <laughs> for the other guy because I like Evan O'Shea. Okay. And I, I was surprised Biff and Dre has voted for me. And on to our next question from the Inspector, Inspector Shetty. Unfunny question. That was- Dude, it's like the Young Lions Cup. It's unfunny. Oh, that was good. <laughs> I didn't even know what the, who won the Young Lions Cup. BB Disco. The Young Disco? Lions Cup winner was BB Disco, who was owned by Afro Bandito. So at least it wasn't Vegas. <laughs> All I can say is that at least people got to play my EWR game. It's <laughs> like <laughs> IWT Blake winning. That's all. And on to our next question from Total Damnation, aka the owner of Damage Gauge Wrestling. Heal double celebration. Yes, yeah. totally. Make that yeah. happen. Because me and Sprite in, in, in DJW is like the best thing ever to happen to that damn show. Also, also, um, things and stuff. Okay. And on to our final question of the night. How did you find your way into call? Everyone gets an hour to answer their, this question so we can make this like two hours long. Okay. So, first, okay, I'll start out with the first point. Like I said, always, um, I started out as a bump meister on YouTube, which was the really shitty point in my life, was, was uh, doing bump meister videos. So, I had my my two cars, which was Wally 787, and there was Brawler, which was the second guy I ever made. And I was like 16 at the time, so I didn't have a great amount of imagination. And I was really derpy, derpy, derp. And that, like, I used to post vids up, and I used to get some, like, views and comments and shit. And then eventually I found SMF, sadly, on one day, and try have a look at that. Went on the forum. Um, used to hang out in the chat box with the late-night penis group. Came up yeah, with... Yeah, buddy. 
came up with IWT during one of those weird nights with it's time, it's time, it's wallet time. Uh, um, Suspect, though, was before even that, though, because Suspect was, um, he was a random addition to Collision 3's Rumble when um, Burb was acting. Yeah, but yeah, Burb was asking, Burb was asking for people to join up, and I was like, "Oh, sweet, I'll join up." <laughs> it's like, suspect is born. And then I, then I found my way into the WEDF car search, which wasn't even a car search. It was more like a topic with three re Mysterio clones, um, <laughs> Flash's, Flash's car, and then my car, and that was it. It was just there, me and Flash's car. <laughs> it really wasn't a contest at all. It was like, I mean, it was, I, I remember that topic. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, uh, yes, um, and then and then um, WDF was no no. Then Triple Six invaded the topic, and then uh, uh, WDF was forced to delete the topic. And then I told um, I secretly PM WDF straight after that, and I was like, oh, is this still, is this contest still on? Uh, can I just be in? Just like announce me as the winner. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> Inside politics for the win. <laughs> And yeah, I, I I put suspect in, and then he was involved with that shitty feud with uh, Dolph Ziggler for the first career, bit of the career, which didn't land anywhere. They went went to DCO, and then um, the Damage Gauge breakup. And Worst the, feud of 2010. Woo! Platinum Age, <laughs> Platinum Fail, and then we went from there to Zack Star, which was also a little. No, we went from there to Miz. Which was a losing feud. We went to Zack Star, which was a losing feud, and we can't continue the Zack Star feud now because Zack Star, is, uh, yeah, stuck still on SmackDown, but he's gonna be a single star, and well, I'm I'm getting long title run with the tag titles or whatever. Yeah, that's what I heard. And yeah, that was how I. And yeah, IWT is pretty much sex, but with better production values, <laughs> I guess. Oh boy, can I go next? Sure, go next. Okay, well, my... Okay, this is pretty sad, but when I was 11, um, the very first league I ever saw, it was on Google Video. This was, like, right before YouTube was made. And I saw NGW. Now, I was 11 at the time, so I thought this was the greatest thing ever. But then I quit watching it because I was 11 and I didn't care at the time. NGW has uh-huh. good production values, to be honest. Oh, it, like, does. Like, it, it, does. It, it It definitely is one of the most... It's like, besides CCL, I think they both have quite equally, like, good, like, oh, yes, we have hot HD... You mean, you mean co- Cockle? Yeah, Cockle, yeah, whatever you call it. Um, yeah, they, they all have the, like, the high-definition name bars and the high-definition map bars uh, and all that shit. I think, honest, I think Cockle- presentation, presentation-wise, uh, Cockle looks decent. It's just... You know, fix your sound issues. It's 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 the sound issues are not the worst problem actually, because like you know, um, there are feds that don't rely on commentary and stuff like that. It's it's just the storylines that he comes up with, and he doesn't know, and, also, and he doesn't know matches, who to push. Yeah, the matches are awful too. And okay, the okay for God's sakes, if if he does end up watching this video, the first thing I would tell him is put KO off for God's sakes. And when, also, when how- did when did a match? When did a match ever in wrestling ever end in a KO unless it was like an open brawl or something like that? Why did Suspect versus Mason Connick both of his matches end in KOs? <laughs> and also another thing: how the fuck can you botch? How can you botch an Irish whip? <laughs> They're <laughs> possible. I don't know. I've never he's, had. I think he's obviously using two controllers, so he kind of has to like pick up the second controller. He's like, "Ah, oh, damn it! Now I've just run yeah, back to it." It's like, not hard. It's not hard. Yeah. I got one hand and a half, and it's easy. It yeah. actually really isn't that hard to do two controllers. It's, it's hard to do like four. But a lot of people have figured it out. So I refuse. I won't do matches more than three or four. I won't. I refuse to. I'll. I'll tell everybody go fuck yourself. If there's more than two people in the ring at one time, I let the computer do it. Okay, uh, so back to Ty's... Uh, okay, back to my thing. So I saw uh, MGW and stuff. Yeah. I didn't do what it's the CAW. In fact, um, after that, I actually did, like, SpongeBob abridged. And it was <laughs> kind of gay. I, I I don't know. I kind of regret doing it. It's like date right now. And then I saw SMF, 
and I was like 13 or 14 at the time. So, of course, I'm going to like it. Yes, at one point I did like SMS, but that was, then it started to get really bad because they were doing the fucking WWE versus SMS thing with the T-1000 and all that crap. It was stupid. didn't like it. Then I stopped watching it. But then I also made my first league. And I did post on SMF forums, which I never went to afterwards. It was called PGWF, ProGo Wrestling Federation. And we have, we have lots of cool and wacky characters like Brian McDickweed and Fat WWF. And, and we also had an amazing feud between Michael Rexis Haynes and Mark Henry. So that was pretty fun, but nobody watched it. In fact, I think it was one of the most weirdest leads ever. And it was on WrestleMania 2000. <laughs> then I stopped doing it because Fraps quit working on me. And then I did AWS, which was designed to troll Bill Brooks. And it worked because he was a fan of Riku. And I just made Riku job and he got mad and um, after that, I did nothing until I did ABW, and I think we all know what ABW is, so I'm not going to explain it. So that's that's how I got into CAW. And then I made your call, and then it ha- stuff happened, and then you got. And then I became the first COC to to win and lose the belt without you know having a match. Yes, and stuff. And we move on to Matt Icorn's take on this question. Uh, okay, well. Um, to start off, the um, how did I get started watching uh, the stuff? Um, I was it was like 2008 at some uh, some point in 2008. I was uh, just watching random wrestling videos. Stumbled upon SMF. Thought it was like I at the time I thought it was really funny. I think everybody at one point is was guilty of thinking that. I think- so. I think I think season I think the the original season of SMF well, was actually quite okay. Like it was quite. And that's good. well, see, because that's what I, happened. Like I I saw like an episode from two thousand eight, and I was like, and I was like, I because I, I, I had never seen anything like it, and it it confused yeah. and fascinated me. So I looked. I, went, I actually went back and like I watched like everything, uh, or almost everything from two thousand seven, which you know is the, if don't ever do that if if unless you're stupid. Yeah. Don't ever do that. But that's what I did, and I became hooked to it, and I joined the forum. But I never did anything on there until like early. It was like December of '08. Um, yeah. It's funny. I actually yeah. started becoming active over an argument about J- Danny Jackpot. Um, because of course, before anybody knows Danny, they aren't. They nobody really likes him. It's it. You know. Except um, me, because I knew him before that. So, well, yeah. I mean, I mean, before well, that's true, but I mean, anybody else, uh, if they yeah. if they know the CAW first, blah blah blah, you know, pretty much yeah, typical. Yeah. Um, but I started being uh, active on the forum um, at one point, um, and I mean, that's pretty much how I got started into watching CAW was SMF, um, which I, I'm not ashamed of because a lot of people are that way. Um, but um, as far as getting into CAW itself, um, I was. Uh, I, I would randomly just play some Xbox Live matches on SVR 10. As much as the game sucks, it's, it was my introduction into having a CAW be used. Um, so there is some sentimental value in the game. Um, the two people I would play with the most uh, was actually Wally. Of course, he knows that. Yeah, um, and, and believe it or not, Smokey. Um, yeah. I used to be really good friends with Smokey, and, and we would do all kinds of crazy, crazy shit on the game, and and um, and I didn't even make the CAW to to be put into call. I put I made him so that I could play the Road to WrestleMania. I yeah. had no intention of ever getting involved in the stuff, but um, the first thing I got involved with was um, was the original DCO. Um, it wasn't actually Matt Icorn. It was a character that I made called Jerry Atrick, um, who was actually based on a CAW that another f- guy that I used to be friends with made um, on SBR 07. So if anybody ever saw Jerry Hetrick and wondered why the hell he looked like that, it's because um, somebody that I, I was I was friends with in uh, an EFED that I did, WFF, made a CAW with um, the orange hat and the... 
you know, all the random shit on it. Um, yeah. And so I was like, I'm going to turn that into a CAW, and then I thought of, like, the, the corniest name I could give him, which was Geriatric. And he got put in the original DCO, um, was semi-successful, but um, when WEDF took over DCO, um, I decided to use my, my Icorn CAW instead. Um, I was lucky enough at that time to also be friends with, uh, uh, because I was friends with Smokey, he got me, he got me into a league called HCW, which unfortunately, like, see, everything that is my introduction into CAW, is, it's not a good story, but it, it's what it is, so I was introduced into a fed called HCW, um, me and, me and Joshi, who's Oshu Jax, uh, we were actually in talks of forming a heel sta- uh, tag team in the, in the league. Um, but it never took off for uh, political reasons, so we decided to form the form the group um, in DCO. And I was lucky enough that um, that got the two of us over enough that we were able to get into WEDF, which um, allowed me to get into to other leagues like the infamous WWCW. Um, yes. As for my introduction into having a league. Um, much like with Wally, um, during random conversations, I would joke about creating a league called, uh, Danny Jackpot Wrestling. The name pretty much was cause, uh, me and Danny get along and we, we have our, our inside jokes. The, the strange thing about, um, the, the two of us getting, being friends is that we actually, uh, bonded, which is like kind of creepy to think about it this way, but we actually bonded over a, um, a stream of To Catch a Predator. Yeah. This guy. Oh yeah, I th- I no, that's fine. I I yeah. bonded with K fan the same way because I I used to um go on the new board so back when the new board was active. Dude, I was. I hate to interrupt. The... Go ahead. I hate to interrupt. This is completely off topic, but in Steven's stream, uh, I I said I want to ride you, and he was like, Ugh, I don't want to ride you. Also, suspect is in the match. He's in the match. What match? The match. Right, well, that's Steven I'll, streaming. I'll, I'll I don't even back. know that Steven is streaming me in this match. Anyway, Why did he not come? <laughs> this. Anyways. Yep. Uh, anyway, so um, me and Danny were friends, and so I made this league called Danny Jackpot Wrestling. It, it made no sense to anybody but me. Um, the only two things I really said, because I, I, I always said it as a joke, never planning for it to be real. Um, but the only two things that I said were going to be uh, official about it was that um, our, our inaugural champion would be... Uh, all black D H Smith, and that every show that we did would feature the match Danny Jackpot versus Primo. And the reason why it now exists is because uh, Biff Andreas, who is um, in N A W and some other shit, he came to me and said that he was bored and he felt like recording, and that he wanted to record for Danny Jackpot Wrestling and. I honestly was like, uh, yeah, sure, whatever. And so, uh, he recorded, he's been recording matches for me. Danny occasionally records for me as well. Um, I recorded much, one match, but it never came out. It's because of issues that I had with an old converter that I used to use. Um, because I do, I do use a Mac. People can make fun of me because I don't care. And I Mac love sucks. my Mac. Um. But um, I used a converter that, for some reason, when I had certain like certain videos when they converted, they didn't. Um, when I converted them so I can use my iMovie, they didn't work. Um, but yeah, that's a story for another day. Um, and that's pretty much how I got into. Um, that's pretty much how I got into CAW. And we go to the last part of our thing with Evan O'Shea's uh, thing. Oh me? Oh okay. So, I basically got started after I watched freaking uh, No DQ Call. I watched a little bit of that, and I was like, this is pretty cool. So, I did a camcorder fed on Daily Motion, right as Daily Motion was starting up in 2006, which I ran on there for the longest time. I don't even remember how long I ran it. And then uh, I joined the, I got into SMF in 2007-ish. Around that time, when uh, right as it started to go downhill too, and um, I made my first YouTube league called uh, 
HCW, I think it was, or UHW or something like that. And I posted that on the SMF forums, which was the first time I went on there. And I pretty much got trolled out of the SMF forums, which I ended up going back to a while later. Um, and then while I was continuing to run my camcorder fed on Daily Motion, I got a Dazzle device in 2009. I ended my camcorder fed, deleted my Daily Motion account, came over to YouTube and ran a company called GCW which I ran until January, and then in March I started up URW, which I run right now, uh, which I run to this day, and it takes us four years to have a show. Um, and then with that's that, fine. That, that's normal core standards. You know, lazy, lazy I, I, productiveness. I still have a better production rate than uh, Five Star Car Wrestling. I still have a better production rate than, than him. Uh, I don't know. You may be on par with him. And he has a but, reason for why he doesn't post shows. Oh, what's that? Uh, well, he explained a while ago in a video, but I've known for some time that uh, the the computer that he used to record the shows, um, it yeah. needed an AC adapter. And then I think when they finally got one, his sister took it to college. Yeah, something like that. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh my God, wouldn't that suck if he took that like if he took the PC to college, right? It was because yeah, he, he, he said he he mentioned that he had two laptops in his in his house, um, yeah, oh and that the one that he used oh actually um, belonged to his mom. What if, what if he, she took that college laptop and she found all that CAW shit? I don't think he <laughs> saves any of his stuff, or he uses an external hard drive or whatever. I don't. I mean, I know some people. I know some people in CAW don't care. I mean, I save mine on disk because but I'm pretty sure his family was. I know it's weird because sometimes people's family know, sometimes they don't. I think that his family knew. Yeah, I think, I think mine family, don't care. Mine, they don't. They they kind of care, but they don't really care, kind of thing. Right. <laughs> mine don't. I live in California, where no one gives a shit about anything. So, in California, they care about drugs. California. Yeah, I, I don't think mine care because my dad saw me record a rumble. So. But yeah, um, oh my my parents don't care. They just get pissed because I commentated very very loud. <laughs> uh, but yeah, oh. but yeah, with with Evan O'Shea, everyone already knows how Evan O'Shea was TX3. But before then, he was in GCW under my name Andrew back in two thousand nine, and then he was you know TX3 with the super gay name, and then he was. Evan O'Shea. You with mean TX1 the... and TX2? <gasps> TX2, TX2 was black. That was reason. the greatest sex story. <laughs> it was. I, but um, t- with uh, when when I when I got when I uh, in, t- in November I think I talked I think I talked with Homer I think I talked with you and Josh, and you guys basically gave me advice like Josh said I needed a new name. And one of you said I needed a new name, and the other one said I need a new look. I so probably, I went on. I probably said the new name because I rarely talk about the image of, of CAWs. And I and I of course pitched the great awesome team that he currently uses in some fits. <laughs> yeah. Um. But uh. So I switched over to the name Evan O'Shea, which is a com- combination of my favorite uh, male name, which is Evan. And uh, my older brother's last name, O'Shea, so Evan O'Shea. Oh my god, see Immortal Steven. He's pretty gay. I know, he's pretty gay. Didn't he die? <laughs> I think he did die. But yeah, so I switched over to Evan O'Shea, and then everyone loved me, and then Biff sent me that message saying it was a bad idea for me to leave DCWL, and... I'm pretty sure, uh, I'm pretty sure everyone in DCWL, including Suspect at the moment, is in a pretty shitty place. <laughs> but, uh... I think I think the worst part about the whole time I've been in call is when Evan O'Shea made an appearance at DC WL Mania Two. Yeah, I mean that that was just horrendous. But other than that, I I, I found the whole no I found the first like the first part when when like suspect was giving his like speech or whatever it was really really stupid. It was like yes why why do I have these random divas with me and why do I have a random suit on? Wait wait a second. Steven got in the ring, and then he teleported to the top of the ramp to get back in the ring. <laughs> he is immortal, Steven. 
I got a question that I want to ask. Yes, sure. What do you all think of WWE 12? And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go first. Okay. Now, when I first saw WWE 12, I thought it was gonna be like the same bullshit, like with different controls. I wouldn't mind that, but like, I don't know. I don't think the SmackDown like. It's awesome that they finally have the new crate and arena thing and stuff, but it's not really anything new because you could do it in Fire Pro. And another thing, I'm sick of them doing obvious shit that they should be doing. But like, I mean, I'm sick of I'm sick of them doing stuff that's cool, but then not doing obvious shit that they should be doing. Like for example, how you could edit the ring but not the stage. And well, you couldn't stuff. do that on Fire Pro either. So yeah, but still, I mean, by this standard, you should be able to do it. Well, and the reason why you can't edit the stage is because that would require a lot of files for the polygon textures and the polygons themselves for the arena. You need to realize that they're, they, they have to make a standard game that can fit onto all three of the consoles. If it was simply just for the PS3, they could make a create arena with you know several hundred different uh, arenas uh, basic setup arenas to use from because it's the PS3. It can hold 50 well, games. I don't, I, don't, I don't mean like it, like, for example, like, I don't mean, like, designing your own stage, something like that. I meant, like, templates. Like, uh, like, like a few stages to choose from. Like, let's that, say you that's want... What, that's, that's what I mean, because multiple stages to choose from would take up a good amount of space on the disc well, when they, they can have, have, like, they can have maybe three, like, three at, at, at first, and then you can, like, edit the color of the curtains well, and all that stuff. It's, the thing is, every time that they add a new, uh, something new to one of the games, it's always done in a half-ass kind of way. Like, the first time that they had the highlight reel, people were asking, why can't we use these as Titantrons? Then they added that the next year, you know? And so it's like, you know... It's the same thing with Creative Finisher. Remember Creative Finisher when it first came out? Creative Finisher, it was yeah, only when, first, Apple. when it first came out, the, prob- like, the, the problems were that you could only do ground finishers and that you... Uh, no, you could only do front facing. Well, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, okay, yeah. Not to yeah. mention uh, any anything that you did in the move would would create damage, which was very cheap uh, yeah. online. Um, you know, so you know things take years to improve, and you know I think by now either we get that and we're okay with it, or we've stopped playing the games. And obviously, we haven't stopped playing the games. So dang, you know, yes. we can. You know, what's that? So Danny has, not really. Right. Yeah, well, no, he's well, he he doesn't have uh, as well. Actually, that's not true. He simply just doesn't buy the current year's game. He, I, I heard him say for a fact that as soon as WWE 12 comes out, he's going to get SVR 11. Is that how he does it? When one game comes out, he gets the other one. Yeah, he gets because you might. Years. You might as well just get WW12 because it's not like the price of the WW games. Like That's... the the funny thing is, twelve eleven has held its value so well. I highly doubt it's going to drop to like twenty bucks when twelve it, comes out. It'll it still probably, probably be... it probably will just because that that's how the system works. I mean, it's a year old. Plus, it's not the latest game in whatever you know in the series of, of wrestling games from THQ. So. Um, it probably will go down to that price, but I do agree that like it just makes well, more here, sense to get the current game because you're going to get well, more value out of it. Here's another thing. Also, I've there hasn't been SmackDown games since 2006 to the point where I can play it all year until the next one comes out. Now, 2011 is a good game, but now, why the only that, time I? I don't know. I don't know why. I think it might be like. I think that I, have no I, idea. I think that there just hasn't been a good season mode in a while. Like they, ha- they once yeah. they switch, once they switched over from although you know although the here comes the pain strategy, which was just random, like you will face random people and you fight towards the title kind of thing. Like it didn't actually make much sense, but at least it was something compared to uh, generic like Road to WrestleManias, and then and then you got your the the. The thing you got now, which is the universe uh, mode. Yeah, universe mode doesn't even make any sense. It, it's just matches. It, there's no build up in between matches. Yeah, that's the, that's another thing that they made and then they half asked. And I don't think they're gonna. I, I've heard they've improved on it, but I highly doubt they did. Even I think it's even, just even if even if your card sounds like he's saying something funny, like he, like the the whole like we've seen it in the fist. I know the fiscal jokes aren't that funny anymore. At least it was something, you know. 
at least it's 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 a promo nonetheless. Like they're talking some words in between matches. There's some build up between matches. There should be something. And the creative story was a good feature, but the problem is that so many people fucking abuse it and just do shitty stuff like Mysterio well, versus you're, gonna find- you're never gonna have a mode where everything done on it is good. So I think I don't, it's not a problem for me that people do shitty things. It's just you gotta know where to find the good stuff. Because yeah. there's a lot of really funny things on there. There are a lot of, like... And, and even, like, there are a lot of stupidly made funny things. Like, one of the best things about... Like, and like that's actually one of the features in SVR 10 that, like, made the game so good for me. Like, when when uh, when I... Like, when, when SVR 10 was, like, the, 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 the new game before 11 came out, um, me, Josh would do these stories that pretty much were just inside jokes for me. I don't think anybody else anywhere, maybe Wally would get some of the jokes, um, but he would make these okay. stories that I would, that were like, the f- they were they were so <coughs> funny to me, you know? And it's like, you know, that's what the story design is for, you know? And people will do shitty things and people will do the, the you know, you'll see a lot of, like, things like, like what, uh, you know, the NL guys run into where it's like default scene and default match. You know, that's going to happen a lot, but... You know, in between that shit, you're going to find a lot of really good things. You know, you just have to know where they to find also, them. Yeah. They also need to fucking improve the goddamn servers. That's never going to happen. <laughs> that actually is happening um, this year. The people that did the old servers are not working with them anymore. Hmm. And bl- Did they yeah. shut down 2010 servers? No, they, they, they still exist. They they keep saying that every single time. They said that even to 07, and I've still been able to play 07 online, for God's sakes. Like, it's been, like, what, five years now? And I'm still um, playing SVR 07. My, uh, an issue I had, which is a stu- um, it's stupid, but I don't like the fact that you can upload stuff and then set it to where people can't download it. I think that's actually just for previews, but that's that's just... I don't know, some people yeah, out there. It, it, maybe maybe they're like call you know, like like people on calls on WS who are like, Oh yes, have a look at this preview of my call and then like I'll finish it later on kind of thing, you know. But then they don't finish it. Well no or see the thing there there actually are finished versions of CAWs that uh, will be uploaded to where you can't download them and I don't think that, that yeah. I, I think I, I don't like that and because it's like, you know, like, if you want to show off something, then allow people to use it. Like, and I know this sounds cheesy, but like with last year, with SBR 10, I remember finding a really cool looking Duffman CW. And I was like, I want to download this. I want to fucking use it in random shit. You know, it's going to be great. And then it was like, no, you can't download it. It's only for show. And it's like, what's the point of even uploading it? You know? Like, maybe. I, I guess, never ran into I, I never guess, ran into that problem. I guess I guess maybe it's to put it in a story, but if you're going to use something in a story where everyone can download the story and play the story, then just, you know, upload the CAW for people to use. Okay. But, like... Yeah, so, in, in, in closing of Ty's um, SVR 12 point of view, what was the point of your thing again? The point of my thing was that, um... I forgot. Fuck it. Just end it. <laughs> no. Okay. 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 Um. Okay. Well, my opinion of SVR twelve. Um. Simple is. I'm not too sure at this point. Like, I I will buy it, but I'm not too sure of how much of an improvement I'm actually gonna see. Like, I've seen like obviously I've seen the the match type improve, the interrupting thing. Which I'm I've been a fan of since Raw two, of course, because I used to play Raw two a lot. That was uh, in Raw two. Yeah, that was in Raw two. That was also in Day of Reckoning. Yeah, that was in Raw 2, though. I remember what I want to say, by the way. Um, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, it's it's going to be almost 2012, okay? We still do not have 20-man Battle Royal mode, a match that I think they can do. Now, I know it might be hard because I know when you get more people on the, on the screen, it is going to slow oh, down God. the gameplay. But I do wish we had 20-man Battle Royal mode I think, or I think the I think the first step moving forward and and not a 20 man battle royal would be just having eight people on the screen i think that's i think that's the first like step forward that thq can possibly do would just move it up to eight from six that would be a good start at least moving and forward. I, I mean the royal Rumble mini games okay they were fun but sooner or later it gets too slow and i know you want to do realism but like come on like i don't know 
Like, I don't like... I, I like the classic Royal Rumble, where it was, like, arcadey, and you just throw people out and hit them, and they let go out. It was a lot easier. It went by faster. Yeah, but that's hella cheap, though, for if you're online or you're playing with friends. If someone could just throw you over the top rope and then punch you, and you're down, that's, like, not even fun. That's why they put in the button mashing in the other games, and then these mini-games... Uh, in the later games, is to not make, uh, not only give it a little bit more of a challenge to eliminate somebody, but to also give it a fair advantage to the person on the ropes so that they can get back in. Well, the other system, like when you throw them out on the outside and you grapple with them, and then there'd be like a meter, a button mashing meter. Yeah, the problem you know, with that, I thought was that, that was. I mean, that was okay, but like, I it it was like virtually impossible to to win early on because. Um, all it took was for somebody to, to throw you out and do the game twice, um, and you were eliminated. Like, yeah, pretty if, much. Yeah. Even, even if I didn't like got, the meter either. Even if you got thrown out early, you, you, you stopped it, and then you eliminated a bunch of people to help bring the meter over, like, the, like, the known, the amount that you got of the meter back wasn't enough for it to really matter. And also, they have a health bar now. Yeah, but like now they do like the the button mashing. I mean, people do use turbo controllers and stuff. Yeah, but there's always going to be some. There's always been a problem with cheating and hacking throughout the SVRC. Like throughout my online playing of since SVR 07 all the way till now, there's always going to be problems with online wrestling games. Yeah, that's, I've that's been doing change. I've been doing online leagues since 2006, and believe me, it, it's 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 gotten better. It's but it's, yeah. it, it's never going to be perfect. There's yeah. always going to be... And even if you give somebody exactly what they wanted, there's going to be somebody else out there who's not satisfied. So it's like it's, there's, it's not physically possible to please every single person. So mm-hmm. you give everybody a little bit of what they want, and you hope that they can take what... You know, and then it's like, you know, you take what you can get. You know, if you at least got, you know, you know maybe 70% of what you asked for, Knowing that the other thirty percent is something that somebody else isn't gonna want, you know, then you have, and, and as long as you have a good time with the with the game, you know, yeah. then because like obviously, you know, SVR eleven, uh, SVR ten, you know, terrible game online, terrible. But I had tons of fun with that game, you know, like yeah. I would, I, yeah. I've actually played it recently, tried it, and and compared to both SVR eleven and with All Stars, you know, I refuse to play another online match with that game but when it was the most recent game and when i was playing with the people that were you know like when i was having those experiences and having fun and all that stuff you know it was a you know it it gave me a good time and that's ultimately what matters in a game is if you have fun with it and like uh, like i don't know i thought 10s online was worse than 11 oh it definitely was because it definitely was. SVR 11 was a huge improvement because of uh, a lot of things changed. And I, go ahead. I'm sorry. And also, like there, I mean, the TLC match and everything else is kind of cool, but there's only so much you can do with it. And but I'm sure everybody that gets the new SmackDown game, regardless if it sucks or not, you're gonna play it for the first week or two, and you're gonna think it's the best wrestling game ever. And then after you start playing it enough, you're going to figure out all the bad things about it. And then you're not going to think that. I mean, I but thought, that's, just, that's the case with every single wrestling game. Any, any game ever made, it has flaws in it. And you're going to, yeah. with a minute you buy it, unless it's, you know, Superman 64, you're going to think it's the best game ever. And yeah. then, like, you can find flaws in any game ever made. Like, yeah. I can find flaws in... Freaking, uh, Here Comes the Pain. Yeah, that's okay. quite easy to find flaws in Here Comes the Pain. There's quite a lot of them. And it's considered do, the best wrestling game of all time. I, I do think that game is overrated. I'm just going to say. It's, it's not overrated as such, but like in my in my point of view, like although I've used it for IWT, and I can say that there's, there's certain limitations that you just can't break with Here Comes the Pain. Like, there's... Oh, there's for t- Especially, especially the worst point of the whole match is, is like um, no selling. At, at, at times, like they seem like they just yeah. no sell shit like crazy. Like um, you, you remember the first um, when I recorded IWT's 
um, for a TLC match, there was so many spots where I threw guys out of the ring, and they and they just immediately got up, back up. Rock was thrown from a freaking ladder outside the ring to the outside, and he didn't know he no sold that shit and got back in the ring. <laughs> if I, uh, think, if, it, I if think we're talking if about, oh, sorry, you go. I think if you're doing like a Royal Rumble, here comes the pain is probably the best one because it's fast and there's a lot of action. Well, well, here comes the pain is all right, but I I played through. I was playing um um shut your mouth also, and that's quite also equally fast, and the commentary is funny. Yes, in my opinion. But, you know, here comes the pain. You don't get to edit out stuff like commentary and all that crap. And, and uh, why would you edit, I, why would you edit out the awesome commentary of Michael Cole and Ants? <laughs> why would you edit that out? That's, that's hilarious shit. <laughs> Let's just bring it. Let's just bring it. But uh, if we're talking about overrated wrestling games, I think the whole Fire Pro Wrestling series is heavily overrated. Oh yes, it is heavy. Oh my god, it is overrated. Yes, there because. Was, um, there was this video game reviewer on uh, YouTube. DJ, whatever. I know. Uh, I know. Trailer Boy uploaded his videos. It was like MXC something like that. Something like that, but he. Yeah, and he pretty much it, jizzed all over the whole series. The, hold on, no, no, no. There was this guy. I can't remember his name. It was I don't know, but I know he reviewed like a lot of wrestling games, and he basically shit on every single one, except for Here Comes the Pain and the Fire Pro games. Yep, I know exactly who you're talking about. And, like, I saw his review for Fire Pro D, and all he did was fucking praise it. Like, he was like, you guys gotta get this game. It's such a good game. <sighs> and then he did a review from Here Comes the Pain, and then he said that Here Comes the Pain was the best one of all time, and to be honest, He's like, after Here Comes the Pain, it pretty much went all downhill. No, it fucking didn't. Obviously, he hasn't played 2006. And he couldn't even understand the controls of 2007. Fuck him. <laughs> okay, excuse me. Um, on my take on Here Comes the Pain versus SPR 6. Okay, Here Comes the Pain is the best, like, like in my opinion, of course, is the best fast-paced wrestling game. Like, it, it has the best pace as a game. Okay? You yeah. As a game, it's it's the best pacing game that you want because everything moves fast, everything, like the grapples are quick, people get up fast, the pins are quick. It seems kind of very realistic. SVR 06 is the best, like, closest mix between an arcade and a simulation. So you're kind of getting the best of, you know, the best of... You mean of, like, yeah, like yeah. Hannah, Hannah would say? What? Yes, like Hannah would say. Yes, the best. The best the boat world. Yeah, something. It's somewhere a line. It's kind of drawing. It's somewhere in between. I would say the gray area between arcade and simulation. I would say it's somewhere in between there, and it's kind of it's kind of got the right mix in there. The yep. the one thing I would say that I would still say is that we don't have a season mode. Where is like you know the season mode is like one of the crucial. I think missing components that you need, even if it's random as fuck. And here comes the pain had the most random as fuck um, season mode ever. But at least it made some, like at least it kept you entertained for a couple of hours. Rather I, know, than, I know, I know, like some people are like, oh, random is funny. But to be honest, with a season mode like that, it was funny. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, I mean, could, even, uh, even if we're talking about Max again. No, 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 no. Um. Like, when here comes the pain, how, like, for example, you could go after the WWF Championship and or WWE, and you would win, and you'd be Brock Lesnar, and your next feud would be against Rodney Mack or something. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it's just, yeah, you end up, like, you, you talk to people backstage, and, like, you, you lose, like, a SmackDown point, and you're like, fuck that, <laughs> why the hell did that happen? Um, or you talk to The Undertaker, and you, 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 you say something bad to him, and you, you end up in a random brawl backstage for no, no actual reason. <laughs> but at least it, you know, it kept you entertained, though, at least, you know. Or you tell Stone Cold that, his, that Deborah's cookies are great. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. You you tell like Trish like um I'm liking that pie or something like that. <laughs> something just stupid. Yeah, just something stupid like that. But even if it was stupid, at least it kept you entertained. I mean, random's funny, guys. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, no, I'm just joking. But yeah. um, back to the topic of because I know we were the, the 
the question that sparked all this was, what do we think of WWE 12 so far? Um, yeah. And I honestly, I and um, I mean, I obviously am looking forward to the game. I look forward to every new game that comes out. Um, I'm actually really, like, I actually am one of those people that I'm excited for, for what we've seen so far in terms of... Um, oh yeah, I the, mean the gameplay changes I, mean, yeah. I do, and I, I like like the the physical changes that we've seen. I I like that the, that they've changed the way that the gameplay is. I especially like that they've changed the submission system. Um, yeah, and things like that. Um, but the the one thing that I always look forward to is is who's going to be in the game. And so far, um, there are two people that um, have not been that were not uh, revealed to be part of the the core game that I'm disappointed about. Um, one of them I know is not going to be in the game, which sucks, but I'm hoping the other one does show up in DLC. Um, but the thing that I like about rosters, like, obviously, the people that you expect to be in are going to be in. Um, and so far we've seen a lot of really cool things, like what they've done with the Punk and, and things like that. Um, but the thing that I actually look forward to most is which jobbers are going to be in. Because hmm. I personally think that it's a lot more fun to go online and troll people with jobbers than it is to try to use somebody who is supposed to be good and try to win. Like, it's 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 way more fun to, to, to fuck around and do things that aren't supposed to be done with the game. I mean, you know, that's, I think that's one of the reasons why SVR 11 was, was, was so fun when it first came out was because um, the way they changed the, the, um, the way gameplay worked with um, how you could use weapons and how you would interact with them. It made things a lot different than what anybody was used to. Um, and this, and then, like, even more so with, with All-Stars in terms of gameplay. All-Stars gameplay is ridiculous. And if you're looking for, like, if somebody's trying to watch that as this is what wrestling should be, it's not. It's, it's, it's an arcade fighting game that is ridiculous. But it's, um, a lot, and a lot of people agree with me when I've said this before, but it's the most fun game that's come out, the wrestling game that's come out in the past five years. Oh yeah, speaking of speaking of jobbers, does anyone remember Chavo versus Primo cage match, which I won? <laughs> <laughs> was that the that was the Mexican over the border match? Yes, that was. Yeah, dude, that was great shit, man. <laughs> that was that was the. <laughs> but that I was mean... actually the person I was talking about, like I, because Primo wasn't uh, revealed to be in the game, and the other person I wanted to be in um, that I know is not going to be in is Chris Masters. Yeah. Um, those two people I wanted in the game, but especially Primo. I want Primo in the game because I think here that, comes know. Chris Masters. <laughs> Dude, his his uh, instrumental theme was pretty fucking badass. It I was. Mean, to be honest, I already pre-ordered WWE 12 because you know I don't because in my area, like it's not a big area, and there are some wrestling fans that will get the game, so it sells out quickly in my area. So I pre-ordered it. Um, I mean, I, I did say a lot of bad things about it, but honestly, I, I do I do like this, the way it looks so far. I love this presentation. Probably the best presentation I've ever seen. And that's the thing. Like the, wrestling game. I think that uh, each year, they keep getting better and better with the presentation. And the new I don't camera, know how to do it. The new camera angles look awesome. Um, the the way that... And, I, and just... Because the, I, I, the big thing that they did was um, for the for the default camera angle, they pulled it back um, so that it looks like like what you would see on TV. I think that looks really cool. Um, yeah. But I mean, most importantly, like I said, it's going to be how it plays, and I think that right now the gameplay does look really good. Um, I think that it's going to be tons of fun. I think we're all going to get on there and do some shit that again was not designed for the game. <laughs> So I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to like, like uh, maybe messing around with the wake up taunt system, of course. Yeah, that's gonna be something. That's gonna be something to look forward to. They I'm need not... to have the Teddy Long dance as a taunt. Well, I'm sure um, eventually they'll they'll pull back create a taunt sometime, like they always do. They pull back old features at some point or another. Like, well, hey, hey guys, did, did you know you could create a ton to next year? <laughs> Lol. <laughs> oh, wait, are, are we closing now? I guess so. Right. Can I close yeah. out? Can I close out? If you want to. No, I want to. Okay, I want to. So, so in closing, guys, Jeff Winnegar is turning 30 years old on the 1st of October. That is all. I am turning 21 in 
roughly a week's time. And everybody um, watch. Your birthday is in a week? Yep. Yeah, my birthday is um, next Friday. My birthday is Happy two birth. weeks from today. Yay. Well, I guess it'd be 13 days from today where you live because you're in the future. Yes. But Fuck yeah, for so being... awesome shit. So happy awesome birthday shit. to all of us, and a happy creepy birthday to Jeff Winnegar. Yes. Also, watch IWT Extra 11. You can watch... Watch AVW. No. No, everybody nobody watch AVW. It's crap. Everybody, yeah. everybody plug their shit right now. Plug everybody. Their shit. <laughs> go, wa- go watch my soon-to-be-announced Joke League. <gasps> and your debut. Th- this lacks new DCWL. It will not. It, it it won't be like New DCW. It will have serious wrestlers with joke gimmicks. Also, also Otto, since you are eight of the ten fans, make some o- OCRPR. I I'm pretty sure that OCRPR has has been uh, killed. Uh, no. I I can't I can't speak for Otto of course because I'm not Otto. I'm just his brother. Um, yes. But yeah, I'm pretty sure he killed it. But um, if I you, will revive if you're it. Looking, if you're looking for something that's like RC OCRPR, but it's not anything like OCRPR, then go check out Danny Jackpot Wrestling at youtube.com slash homerjay5012. And make sure to check out Ultimate Reckless Wrestling at www.youtube.com slash this username kicks ass. Also, if you, want, that. if you want to watch wrestling that's completely gay, then go to uh, youtube.com slash oshujax21. Yes. And if you want to watch a league that nobody cares about, watch ABW. You mean I oh, and, <laughs> In closing, we will do the Teddy Long Dance. In closing, hello, hello, hello. you know what's the Mac Militant. Come on and get it on and tie. Come with for, the your, for your actions, you tonight you will go one-on-one with The Undertaker. Oh, no! I'm recording that match right now. <laughs> All right. Do and, it. And yeah. Good boy, night. boy. Bye. Bye.